light behaved like a wave and a particle. And we came up with a beautiful relationship between the particle nature, its momentum, and the wave nature, the wavelength. It'd be interesting to say, well, let's go back to particles. Could it be possible that particles have wave nature? We were a little surprised when we saw the wave-like property, light, have a particle nature. Is the dichotomy going to continue? Is a particle able to have a wave-like property? Well, we would define it in the same kind of way. We would say a particle has a momentum, and electrons, for instance, they can move, and they'll be moving at a certain velocity. You take the product and their mass and velocity, that's a momentum. A wave would have a wavelength. If we say, well, we had this relationship that had wavelength and momentum in it to relate for light the duality between the particle and wave nature. The same thing can be applied to matter. And this is actually a very fascinating concept. How can a particle, like an electron, also behave like a wave? I think you can kind of buy the light argument. Light behaves like a wave, and we saw it with diffraction and interference. We had one wave going like this and one wave going like this. When they came together and they added constructively, you got a bright spot. When they added destructively, you got a dark spot. And that was very wave-like. We saw their particle-like nature of light in the photoelectric effect. Particles for, for matter, that's obvious. Here, here's a particle of matter. There's particles of matter, atoms, electrons, fundamental particles. But will they also have a wavelength? Will there be a duality here? It turns out there is. It's one of the most fascinating properties of nature that very tiny particles have a wavelength associated with them. We associate the wavelength through the same relationship we used for light, we call this the de Broglie relationship, the momentum and the wavelength related. For particles, we're going to use the intensity of their wave squared as the probability of the particle being found in that region. We'll talk about squaring the wave function of matter to get the probability of whether that matter actually exists there. So waves and particles, two totally dissimilar things, but the particle and wave duality works for matter. So how can we prove it? Well, remember how we proved that light behaved like a wave? We shined the wave through some obstacles. We got this diffraction and interference pattern, bright spots and light spots on the screen. That said, oh, that, that's a wave-like property. Matter, we understand as a particle already, can we just demonstrate its wave-like nature? Well, it turns out you can. You can take electrons, and you can shine electrons at little obstacles. In this case, you use the spacing between the layers in a crystal. You shine an electron at that, and that def gives you diffraction and interference. And if you shine that on a screen, like you did with the, the light, you find that there's places on the screen that the electrons hit, and you get bright spots, lots of electrons hitting in certain spots, and places on the screen where the light does not hit. The, the electrons pass through their grating, their crystal. They're, it's very likely they'll hit at some, some spots. It's unlikely to zero probability that they'll hit at other spots. And that's very strange. If you take just a BB gun or a machine gun and you shoot it through an obstacle, there's no place uh, beyond the slits where the bullets cannot hit. There's no excluded particles. There's no excluded space where you cannot hit there. With electrons, it's a different story. You pass through that grating. You pass through that crystal. And there are places where the electron is forbidden to hit. There's electrons interfering with each other. You're allowed to hit here. You're not allowed to hit here. There's dark and light spots that detect the electrons High intensity, of prob high intensity, high probability of finding electron in certain spots, low probability dark spots in other spots on the screen. Electrons behaving as if they're interfering with each other, just like they have a wave property. Fantastic property of electrons that we can actually demonstrate. So it's easy to show electrons 
give you a probability distribution. You'll have electrons going through their crystal grating, likely very strongly to hit at some spots, unlikely to hit at other spots. So matter, electrons in particular, displaying wave-like properties.